So he sent me this email. He's like, Matt, could you take a look at it? Absolutely, I can take a look at it. I don't have my reading glasses. That's pretty small print. You guys ever do this? You should. Okay. Page one. Page two. Oh my God, Greenpeace is going to kill me for printing this bad boy. Page three. Page four. I'm not trying to poke fun at Brett. Guys, print your damn emails out. Look at them on your phone. If you start to get carpal tunnel from having to swipe up, your email is too long. But to my point about assessing their situation, okay? Brett did a okay job. He's got a paragraph in here a little bit, and then he's going into, hey, we got three phases in our quote. The design phase, phase one, that's gonna be 70,000 to 90,000. Um, then we got phase two, then we got some critical notes. And then there's, there's some language in here I don't like. Let me see if I can find it. Um, things like non-binding budgetary proposal listed below for evaluation and planning purposes only in hopes of, that's the word that stuck out to me, never say in hopes of. Okay, and if you don't believe me, when you get on the next airplane that you get on, I'm getting one here in about two hours. If that pilot goes, welcome aboard everybody, my name is Captain Adams, I will be your pilot in hopes of landing in Los Angeles, California later to say, I'm out, I'm a ding, 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 open the door, right? I don't want to do business with people that hope, okay? I want a son of a gun that can land the damn plane in LA, on time or ahead of schedule. Okay, so we got to slow down here. But to solve Brett's problem, it's fine. He just jammed a proposal into an email. Okay, that proposal should be a PDF. And then his email, because he didn't slow down in the beginning, his email was all focused on phase one, phase two, phase three. His email should be focused on, hey, Matt, it's Brett with, you know, whatever company, Acme. Uh, purposes emails to understand my under is to summarize my understanding of your current situation, the capabilities you guys need, and next steps in terms of getting your people out in the field, the reporting that they need, so you don't continue to lose good associates and put yourself in the best position possible to hire and to scale and hire new talent. Current situation right now, your people out in the field are not able to enter their reports and their numbers in the field from a mobile app. That's causing them to have to drive back to the office and things are getting missed and work is having to be done two and three different times and people are having to do checks and balances. In the last 60 days, you've lost two employees. You cannot continue at this path. Capabilities needed. You need a reporting module out there in the field so they can enter that into the field. You need instant access to their information in the home office so you can give them the support that they need as they're out there working in the field. And you need the ability to scale from five outside adjusters to 25 over the next 24 months. Based on everything you're telling me, you are a perfect fit for our XYZ app. I've attached a proposal with the three phases to roll it out um, and a DocuSign to sign. Does that match what you need? Question mark. Did I miss anything? Per our conversation, I will reach out to you next Thursday, the 11th, if I haven't heard back from you, if I haven't heard from you before then, right? That's how you write an email. Okay, now when they dig into that, they're like, wait, wait, that, that's me. It's like seeing yourself on TV. That's, that's my current situation. Holy smacks, that's what I need. And the next steps, they're pretty easy. He assigned it. I don't even want to look at that thing. It's four pages. I'll let Tina, I'll let Shannon look at that and just make sure the bits, bytes, blinking lights and all the purchase components and all that are online. But yeah, 760 to 900,000. Yeah, that's, that's within our budget. Wow, that was a big one he sent me. 760, phase two is, is a million bucks, right? If phase two is a million bucks, you don't need a longer email. You need a shorter email, okay? People don't get paid a million dollars to sell stuff by the length of their email. They get paid a million dollars to be able to explain to a three-year-old the three-year-old of the CEO, why the CEO needs to pay them a million dollars in order to improve the organization. Hey, little buddy, are you here at work with mom? Yeah, hey, my name's Matt. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Mom's got a bunch of her troops out there in the field. They can't do their work. It's kinda like you going to school without your books. What we're gonna be doing here today is we're gonna be getting the pe people in the field able to go to school with their backpacks. 
that's going to make the company an additional $25 million a year in top line revenue. High five. Tell your mom that, by the way. You want a sucker? Here you go. Cool. Now, you know, boom. You have to be, if you want to close million dollar deals, you don't have to sound like an engineer. You don't have to sound like a lawyer. You have to sound like somebody that can explain the problem to a three-year-old. Full circle. Back to what we were talking about at the beginning of this situation. How do you explain it like a three-year-old? You explain it like a three-year-old by figuring out what the size of the problem is in the beginning. I could have never done the backpack analogy, which by the way was brilliant. I could never have done the it's like going to school without your backpack if I didn't figure out why, do you, why are you guys looking for an app? Oh, we just need field reporting. And I had to resist the temptation. We have graphical user interface 72-bit field reporting. We're the only ones that do it. Okay, fantastic. Send me a proposal. I'll get back to you after the first of the year. Right? Slow down in the beginning. 